Rabindranath Tagore is regarded as one of the greatest writers in modern Indian literature. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Tagore was awarded the knighthood in 1915, but he surrendered it in 1919 as protest against the massacre of Amritsar, where British troops killed some 400 Indian demonstrators. Tagore was born in Calcutta in a wealthy and prominent Brahmin family. His father was Maharishi Debendranath Tagore, a religious reformer and scholar. His mother, Sarada Devi, died when he was very young. Tagore's grandfather had established a huge financial empire for himself and financed public projects such as Calcutta Medical College. The Tagores were pioneers of Bengal Renaissance and tried to combine traditional Indian culture with the Western ideas. The youngest child in the family, Tagore started to compose poems at the age of eight. He received his early education first from tutors and then at a variety of schools. Among them were Bengal Academy where he studied Bengali history and culture and University College at London where he studied law but left after a year without completing his studies. His first book, a collection of poems, appeared when he was 17. It was published by Tego's friend who wanted to surprise him. In 1901, Tego founded a school outside Calcutta named Vishwabharati which was dedicated to emerging Western and Indian philosophy and education. It became a university in 1921. He produced poems, novels and stories. Tagore's reputation as a writer was established in the United States and in England after the publication of Gitanjali, in which Tagore tried to find inner calm and explore the themes of divine and human love. The poems were translated into English by Tagore himself. His cosmic visions owed much of the lyric tradition of Vaishnava Hinduism and its concepts about the relationship between man and God. Much of Tagore's ideology comes from the teaching of the Upanishads and from his own beliefs that God can be found through personal purity and service to others. He stressed the need for a new world order based on transnational values and ideas, which he named Unity Consciousness. When he was 11, he accompanied his father on a tour across India. While on this journey, he read the works of famous writers, including Kalidasa, a celebrated classical Sanskrit poet. Upon his return, he composed a long poem in Mathali style in 1877. In 1878, he moved to England to study law. He attended the University College London for some time, following which he started studying the works of Shakespeare. He returned to Bengal in 1880 without a degree, with the aspiration of fusing the elements of Bengali and European traditions in his literary works. In 1890, while on a visit to his ancestral estate, his collection of poems, Manasi was released. The period between 1891 and 1895 proved to be fruitful during which he authored a massive three-volume collection of short stories named Galpukutcha. In 1901, he moved to Shantiniketan where he composed Navidya, which published in 1901, and Kea, which published in 1906. By then, several of his works were published and he had gained immensely popularity among Bengali readers. His popularity in English-speaking nations grew manifold after the publication of Gitanjali. And later, in 1913, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. From May 1916 to April 1917, 
He stayed in Japan and the US where he delivered lectures on nationalism and on personality. In 1920s and 1930s, he traveled extensively around the world, visiting Latin America, Europe and Southeast Asia. During his extensive tours, he earned a cult following and endless admirers. Tagore's political outlook was little ambiguous. Though he censored imperialism, he supported the continuation of British administration in India. He criticized Swadeshi movement by Mahatma Gandhi in his essay, The Cult of the Chakra, which was published in September 1925. He believed in the coexistence of the British and the Indians. He never supported nationalism and considered it to be one of the greatest challenges faced by humanity. In this context, he once said, A nation is that aspect which a whole population assumes when organized for a mechanical purpose. His poems, stories, songs and novels provided an insight into the society which was rife with religious and social tenets and was infested with ill practices such as child marriage. He condemned the idea of male-dominated society by articulating the subtle, soft, yet spirited aspect of womanhood which was subdued by the insensitivity of man. While reading any of his works, one will certainly come across at least one common theme, that is, nature. As a child, this great author grew in the lap of nature, which left a deep-seated impression on him. No matter how much he was enchanted by nature, he never distanced himself from the harsh realities of life. He observed life and society around him, weighed down by rigid customs and norms and plagued by the orthodoxy. A proficient songwriter, Tagore composed 2,230 songs which are often referred to as Rabindra Sangeet. He also wrote the National Anthem of India, Jana Gana Mana, and for Bangladesh, Amar Sunar Bangla, for which both nations will forever be indebted to him. This great Bengali poet was admirer of Mahatma Gandhi. Only hours before he died, on 7th August 1941, Tagore dictated his last poem. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.